Hey guys, welcome back to Gear by Orla. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more fabulous reviews. Today we are reviewing the Life Pack Backpack versus the Life Pack Endeavor. <laughs> Let's go. Today I am joined by one half of Dream Bay Travel Park, Kazi. We have decided to meet Bradley in England. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't know, Kazi and Bradley run a travel blog, one of the largest travel blogs on the web. It is. <laughs> they have traveled between years of like over 70 countries. And it's just over 70. It's around 70. Brad's got a little more than me, but together we're on about 70. Between them, these bags have been... You got them two years ago. We got these bags two years ago, basically when we first started our recent van life adventure. Um, and all, they have been used and consistently the entire time. So it's been about two years of use. And 22 countries? Oh, about 22 countries. Wow. I would say Brad probably uses this smoke one more. Definitely. The, the Debbie and Deborah. Um, they're, they're good for different reasons, but I get it. we probably prefer this one. And this is my baby. <laughs> yeah, this is literally the lids of her every time she's back. Like, but yeah. So in this review today, we are actually going to compare both bags and give you the pros and cons of each one. And then give you some comparisons to other bags so that you can find something that will suit you. After a friend had his backpack stolen, Adrian Sogard wanted to find the perfect features that would make for a perfect bag. I've said perfect a lot, but here we are. And he launched uh, this one in 2016 mm -hmm. and it kind of just took off from there. Yeah. Okay, let's get into the pros and cons of the Life Pack backpack. So the Life Pack is actually Solgard's flagship product and it was designed to it was designed to be for the modern traveler, which I consider myself to be. <laughs> but basically it's for people who want to switch between work and play and just doing a lot of things differently. So that's why it was made like this. And you'll see, but it works. So let's talk about the prices of this bag. And uh, without the kind of solar pack that we'll get into in a minute. It works out one for five dollars. If you want the solar pack, it works out two six five dollars. And then there's something called the juice box that between us we're trying to figure out what it is. Yeah. But um I was gonna ask you, did you have this the, the solar we actually didn't have the solar feature. Um it basically it wasn't it wasn't in stock whenever we ordered it, but we wanted the bike. So um we did without it. But what I will say is the solar feature seems like a really cool thing, especially if you're traveling and have access to like sun and being able to charge it. I assume it charges off solar. Yeah, yeah. But um but without it, it's it's still a really cool bag. Like the thing is this bag does come with some like technical cool features, like high tech stuff, but we're kind of using it in its rawest form and for me it's still it's even it's just as good without the extra tech features basically um they have all their details on how long the solar panel lasts like the battery life and things like that directly over on their website that's the best place to go buy this product and as always the links will be in the description along with all the other products that we mentioned here so the dimensions of this bag are we have 11.6 by 18.5 by 7 inches and the dimensions of the solar bike, which goes around here, are 6.2 by 3.5 by 0.5 inches. The capacity of this bike is 18 liters and the item weight is 4 pounds. I am 5 foot 6, so this is what the bike looks like on me. It is a unisex bike and it doesn't come with a sternum strap or a hip strap. Do you think that a bike needs a sternum strap? I actually don't know what a sternum strap is. I've never... I mean, I'm sure you're out so the bike doesn't even need it, so... I probably well know it, which she points out right now, what it is. It's not even that, it's the fact that it's for posture, both of us are like, I know! <laughs> um, <laughs> it helps, like, probably... Actually, no, that's actually a good point. I find that it's okay for me, and I don't really want to engage in it too much, because you'll be like, about our tatas, but... If you have bare bows, I think oh. they would need to... Yeah, it's, it's one of the... here. Oh, no, yeah. the sterner up here. Yeah, that ain't gonna work for me. Yeah. But yes, I see what you I see what you mean. Kinda gives you more if you're like going off on a hike and stuff, yeah, have your hip. I've definitely seen that on yeah, other bikes. Yeah, and this bag but you don't doesn't have one. But for me, no, I haven't noticed it. 
Um, but I guess I haven't really taken the side of any big hikes. I wouldn't say it was a big, like, you know, you're not going to track Everest with it that way. So, no, I've been fine without it. So the bag is partially waterproof. It is made up from the um, ocean plastic bottles. I think it is. It is an eco-friendly bag, isn't it? Their their brands are. It's quite. They're kind of quite sustainable. Yes, yeah, they are. Okay. Um, and but the main uh, main material of the bag is nylon, which you know is water resistant. But it, it is nylon is water resistant. That's when you're, it's not going to be fully waterproof. But like you said, you've been down in like rain and stuff and it hasn't seemed to do any kind of i have like i've not i've not definitely not poured loads of water or it's not got submerged in water but rain wise yeah it's been wet it's definitely got caught in water but um it's never never so crude it kind of just like runs off it which is quite good but yeah the bag does get wet but your stuff inside should stay protected yeah and with nylon like um it is that material that's long lasting it's very durable and it's um tour resistant so that's kind of what you want from a bag at least like you kind of know yourself if you're going to be caught in a downfall run find shelter you're not going to sit there and be like ah. yeah but or just cover the bag or just do whatever you can but and um, there is a bit of vinyl it's not what just isn't sorry my words it's vinyl vinyl the vinyl uh running through the bag which is a nice sweet touch oh yeah there's actually a memory foam padding on the back here and on the straps and shoulder and i have to say this is really comfortable. That's one of the things about this bag is that even when you kind of overload it, which I do at airports, it doesn't hurt your back because you have got the support here. It does have straps, adjustable straps here. And I always actually, I mean, I'm guilty of not doing this a lot, but to get the full support mm. from this bag, you should definitely be using these. But yeah, overall, like it's super comfortable. What I will say is that if you are using it in warmer weather and you're out in the park, then you may like find that you sweat more onto this because of the material that it is. But then on hindsight, on the flip side, if you're in cold weather, it's actually a little bit more cushioned. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit cozy. <laughs> the zips run smooth. There's actually metal uh, hooks on the side of the bike that you can attach anything you want to it. Fun fact, I didn't actually even know these were here until Aura mentioned it. Like yesterday when we were looking at the bike, the metal hook. Oh yeah, because I was say, do I use it? If you're going to ask me that next, I don't have you. Because you can, um, I mean, I'll get into it, we'll, we'll get into it, but later you can like kind of hook the lock here for extra security or whatever, but, or you can attach things like if you're traveling, you're we, um, hello and all that there, but yeah, it is. if you're happy enough for it to get stolen, then yeah. Yeah, I just never noticed it. Yeah. Okay, so at the bottom of the bag here, we have like kind of a braille material. Um, this is actually water resistance as well which mm. just helps with the whole water resistance at the back but um this is this is really useful for maintaining the shape because sometimes you find that bags do not keep their shape and that's something that i really don't like whereas this one that's it this is empty yeah and that's just as it sits you can literally set it down and it's not going to fall over i was really worried that it was going to fall over there but it doesn't and then obviously when you have stuff in it it's going to be it's going to stay in the shape as well. So I find that really useful because I'm always just walking it through. What's in the corner of this shop? Beside you. That texture is also in here uh, whenever it covers the solar bank, whenever you're not in use. So you can actually detach this and it's reattached by buttons. Um, whether you're using it or not, it kind of just works out really well. It water resistant too so yeah handy enough so what do you think of like the style and stuff that i, I pretty much better use it it is i don't love anything too flashy too kind of like in your face and this to me is like quite neutral quite subtle and also like we were kind of discussing earlier like if something is really kind of flashy it kind of can draw attention to yourself when traveling um and really you don't want to give anyone an excuse to take your stuff I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like a bright, a bright piece of luggage. But for this, it's you can use it for anything. Yeah, it's subtle. It's minimalistic, but yeah. it's also a great bag. So yeah, it goes with everything, like you said. So the only thing that I would change is if it came in a deep red. Yeah, which it doesn't. So we will have to do. <laughs> the rhyme not because of us. <laughs> okay, so let's run through some of the features of the bag and then I'm going to go through how basically I've used some of them and whether I've actually found them useful and stuff like that. So we know about the solar bank and we know that 
Kazi and Brad, you know, you haven't, you're not really too fussed on missing out on it, but no. it is a healthy feature to have. Yeah, can't comment on how useful it is because I don't have it, but it does seem like a cool feature. So this bike does have some anti theft pockets. Um, have you used them? Do you know where they are? I'm kind of ashamed to say no. Well, right. like, what do you mean? I mean, it does have a lot of pockets and like extra pockets that I didn't even know that were here until I was on my flight back here recently. And I was like, oh, I just found another pocket. So. Right, so you have one, <laughs> you've actually got two in the back here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Have you ever used them? I've never used them. Okay. Actually, and then you have these. Yep. I have used these. Are you very weird about that? Hands <laughs> 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 Don't want that being so <laughs> Yeah, I've, d- I've used these ones. Yeah, and on the other side too. Yes. Mm-hmm. I suppose that's handy because it's right beside you and he's going to take that. Yeah. Um, in terms of like the, the front compartment and the main compartment, they are able, you can just sit those down. So I would recommend if you are worried to kind of put a lock maybe or something like that. Yeah. How do you find the traveling with that on your back? Like in terms of, I mean, you've been to so many different countries. I don't want you naming countries because I'm not about to do that. But like <laughs> in terms of like keeping your bike secure, because remember whenever I remember we were in Thailand and Thais was like, if you fall asleep and your bike's above, someone's going to take all your stuff. So do you oh, keep well, everything? Like the bus and everything? Yes, yeah, so do you keep yeah. everything in front? Do you, we, or do you just let it go? <laughs> no, but I would. If, but because I don't travel like that anymore. Like, yeah. As in, if his van life and all. Fine, but they did. You did go backpacking. Yeah, we did. And 100%, I would always... Yeah, the cliche thing of if you're going to wear it on your back when you're sightseeing in a busy city or whatever, mm-hmm. on long summer. If you're not, you need to probably wear it in your front. If you're traveling on a bus or a train and you've got it above your head, don't. Like, make yeah. uh, just don't do, don't even do that. Keep it under the seat with it. Yeah, sleep or with sleep it. Or sleep sleep with it. Or like, yes, have, yeah. have something like touching it. But yes, yeah, definitely something to kind of be aware of. And it's good when a bag does have these little subtle features so like you could hide the money here in here if someone stole your wallet elsewhere. You know what I mean? Like the USB port. Now, I 100%. Oh, did you know you had it? I knew I had it. Hey. <laughs> I was thinking about no, this girl, let like, not use it though. But I'm being totally honest that I use this bag every day, but as I say, I don't yeah. use the tech features of it. So And I think like some brands, just to look to any brands if you're watching this, you do overcomplicate things. You don't need like no. they don't need to sing and dance. But yeah, well, they do if they're freaking five hundred quid. But well sure, then you'll want us something. Yeah. Um Oh my God, where is it? Yeah, where is it? It's in the side, see? Oh. I don't know where it in It's not, yeah. it's not this one, it's the other one. <laughs> it off because I don't think anyone can see you are. Yeah, so there you go. All right, but then you have to attach a power bank. This is the longest lead I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. I... <laughs> yeah, do you know what it yeah, is? It was for the van. Because she's packed into one of the things. <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, this is yeah where the USB is here from the side. So again, this is actually quite hidden away, quite subtle. Um, but I haven't used it. No, and I don't find like I've had a few bags away that have this feature, and I think it's cool. But you have to go um get a power bank. Yeah, it is. It is. Like, find me the power bank. What's it? The thing is as well, like. <sighs> It's weird because even when you're in airports and stuff, there's so many charging facilities in airport to charge your phones. Yeah. Now that one bag's come with us, it is a fun feature, but even in other like l- l- luggage that we've used, um, like I'm thinking of the Horizon yeah. stuff, you know, I don't really use it there either. But yeah. I mean, it's cool to have one, I guess. See, with Horizon, I have to argue because she have the be- you have the better one in my eyes, the blue one. Sure, but I don't have a power bank. No, that's what I'm saying. The, the one I have has the power bank. So you're yeah. you're sorted. Like if they give you a power bank, get with it. Then you'd probably be more likely to. Maybe you can. Can you purchase a power bank from Bogart Thompson? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. So we well, should go check out the links in the description. <laughs> you have to find out and let us know in the comments below. <laughs> we're going to talk about one of Pazzy's favorite features, which is the laptop compartment, because I know you were kind of about that the other day, actually. Oh, yeah. I love it. Well, as a digital nomad, and f- <laughs> I used his bag for, for work. I bring it, I put my laptop in all the time. So for me, having a good laptop compartment, mm. it's just essential because 
oh, there's nothing worse when they don't fit in and they don't come out easy. And my laptops are actually quite big. Um, probably should have got it, but it's bigger than, um, mine is 11 inch. Yeah, and mine, is, like, mine is 15. It's just, it's like, it's, it's bigger. But what I love about this laptop compartment is you probably can't say, there'll be an overlay. There will be, but this is off. So literally when I say they slide in and out with these, it's because of that. It's kind of like velvet. It is velvet. Yeah. It's like a fleece material. It's just, yeah. yeah. Like a fleece material. But also, so basically if I'm traveling, that's why I love this bag for, um, as your small item, whenever you're on the airplane, you can put your laptop in there. Then there is another little compartment in the front and it's perfect to either put your laptop charger or, and I put my passport in there. So for me, but I put my laptop charger in there and I put my laptop in here. And then I also have like leads and hard drives and stuff like that. And there's even more compartments for them. So for me, this is a really good work bag. It's a really good, I'm gonna go sightseeing, but also stop at Starbucks and get a couple of hours of editing in. I can do both with this bag. And that's why I love it so much. So it's just easy to use. Um, we're gonna play devil's advocate. Uh, in terms of this, like it is a face material, which well, well and good, it's very soft on your laptop and things like that. Say you get a spillage though, it's just gonna soak that up. It's not really gonna... You know I mean? You could wipe your laptop. You could? No. For me, I like it. But it, it just doesn't really protect it that well. I mean, there is another uh, bit of padding on the front, in front of the laptop compartment, and um, which is quite good for protection if the bike's gonna fall and things like that. But in terms of other products, I would definitely prefer like just a pad that is water. Yeah, so yes, that makes sense. Yeah. So Cassie just briefly mentioned there about um, flights and stuff. This is classified as a personal item, even when it's fully packed. You can put it in the seat in front of me. I yeah, I have never no, had any. No, one time she came back to Ireland and I, it was literally so bulged. And if anyone knows EasyJet and Ryanair and Aer Lingus and things like that, they are going to be like, no, pay up. And I said to her, I was like, right, okay, go on. And she got so funny <laughs> and it fit under the seat. Right away. It does. It always fit. Even when the nasty tiny leg room, it always yeah. fits. I've never, I mean, that's the requirement is it has to fit under the seat in front of me. And yeah. it does. And the thing is as well, quite subtle. Like if you're walking through with a bit of hand luck, you just, yeah, whatever. You just have this on your back and no one takes those. And if you, well, when we get into comparison, when you exper expand the endeavor, um, it's more noticeable. You're not going to get away with that. This here doesn't expand, so you can just fully pack it and yeah. not have to worry about someone going, well, it's expanded, so... Yeah, the main compartment has um, a couple of pockets. It's not really overwhelmed. You wouldn't say, like, in comparison to other brands, I feel like they overdo it. I mean, every bag nowadays seems to have pedals. There's, I cannot remember a time where I ever put a pen on the bag for from school. And the only thing on the flip side there is I never use a pen. Like, well, who needs pens? But we do. <laughs> you have to admit it. <laughs> I hear your point. Um, what I was going to say was that you do need a pen. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say is you do need a pen for immigration, some forms, whenever oh, you're yeah, traveling. And there's so many times where you get on the plane and they hand out immigration forms. Air hostesses will not lend you pens. So they're like, oh, you should have had your own pen. Wow, with this buy, <laughs> you can set a pen in. I don't even know if she'll even like. I don't think she's used it because you don't really have suitcases that much. Like you use suitcases obviously for traveling more so now. I know what she's going to say. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Thorgard is the only one so far. Really? That No, no, no. That does it vertically. Oh. So the bag sits I actually send it. Yeah. Whereas everyone else is like this. It's like, well, why would you do that? Interesting. I actually used this the other day. We do use it sometimes, but on my flight home, I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to set it on top. This is the right way and it works. It works really well. So the bag is a work zone and life zone backpack. That's what they kind of advertise it as. And I guess it really is that all in one bag. Um, but I think it is time to get into a little bit cold. Cons? What are you talking about? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go through some of my cons in terms of having reviewed, because I think I'm an expert boy. <laughs> having reviewed um, other backpacks, what I'm looking out for. 
So I haven't personally reviewed these bags. Obviously, the guys have taken them around half the world and I trust their judgment on that. But first, face is looking at it. There is an extra bit of material here. Hold it. This is so tedious in my cons, right? Really? <laughs> but why are you here? It's just design, isn't it? Yeah, but it's stupid. Well, I like it. <laughs> well, I'm just going to defend this bag. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to defend it. What does it add? I mean, it's different. Oh, I think it's just, it's, I don't think, it obviously has no purpose. It's just literally a design thing. So it says uh, about the water compartment that you could shove a water bottle here, but realistically, no. No, you can't. But I wouldn't say this is water bottle. Yeah, and that's a con for me because I love to have water bottle compartment in history, whereas I struggle to drink water. Yeah, that's what you should probably get. Yeah, this bag is quick, you know? I don't I feel like cats. I'd love to be dehydrated. This bag's for you. So we're talking about the fact that if you are in a hot country and you are sweating to death, this bag pulls now. Are you Kazzy wanted to talk about her famous feature? <laughs> oh no, there was just one more feature that we didn't and just it's, it's gonna be completely disappointing. But there is also a fun bottle opener in here. So I actually was saying I'm not entirely sure how much I've used it, but it is handy. And actually, I just realized there is another hook so you could Detach it. Yeah, you can put it on your social yeah. yeah, yeah, you can if you wanted to do something else. And um, in the description also, the guys, uh, Kazi and Bradley, have made an article on the 15 best laptop backpacks. So you can head over to check out that because there's actually quite a lot of bags that you guys have reviewed and, and they find useful. Maybe that's what you're looking for is a laptop um, backpack. They also have a blog post on the best Arctic Death backpack. Yep. Um, uh, best urban backpack, best eco-friendly backpack. Yeah, we've, we've kind of went on a bit of a backpack. Tip. Yeah, but do you use a kind of great for it? Do you know what I mean? We use a lot and we have used a lot of backpacks over the years. And that's why I feel like <laughs> it's kind of testament that I have been using this one for longer than any other backpack that I have been using. I do use others, but this one is my everyday life pack. Oh my God. <laughs> Fire me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for the pros and cons of the life pack endeavor. So kind of the idea behind this one, it is different. It does try to combine the life area and the work area, but it's got something different. So this bag is transformable into basically luggage. Um, for a week weekend break or in a city break nothing too crazy i wouldn't like a week yeah a week, right. week five days you could definitely i have used this i will say that um for up to a week but there is some really cool features in it that allow you to do that so this is more of a work travel like the holiday on title yeah and like you can go to the gym work and then jet off so, oh, let's see. <laughs> if you really want it, yeah but the main feature that kind of sets this bag apart from the life pack backpack is that um in it's installed by the the, the closet mm -hmm. and i will insert a picture because because where is the closet it's you know what in a suitcase somewhere we did have used the, the the picture she's showing you is us actually using it and here yeah. in Barcelona. Okay, so the good thing about it is whenever you kind of pack this in and pull it out, you can pull it out and literally hang it up in your hotel cupboard. Yeah, and like everything's organized, and that's kind of the point in it. And I always thought that those things were kind of novelty. There are a few bags that do that, and um, Tropic still actually do one too. Um, theirs is very good as well. Yeah, it is. But I and I remember being like. Oh, Will I use this? I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of packing cubes. I'm not someone who uses them. I get that they're organizational, but this, the whole closet thing, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Really you find your personality, whether you just, if you're an organized person, then perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get into the nitty gritty and compare, let's run through some details of this bike. This is the medium um, backpack. You can also get this bike in the large and um, the large holds up to about seven days and this holds up to about five. But as Kaz has just explained, she was able to get seven days out of this. And to clarify, that was like fitting in three people's stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. But they, they are travelers, so they pack light. If you're anything like myself, who, if you have watched um, my knack bags, me of me trying to uh, fit everything in for Scotland, 
y'all know I'm a heavy packer, so it's a personality thing again. It really is. It's really just down to that. So the price for this bag is two, three, five dollars for an extra ten dollars. I was looking at it, I was like, why, why wouldn't you go for the large? But in terms of personal items and stuff like that, we'll get into it. It's uh, two or five dollars for the larger item. But as I've just mentioned, it will be just down to preference in terms of whether you want this as a personal item to fit onto the seat in front of you. And um, because with it expanded, which we'll get into with that, you're not going to be able to do that. Yeah. So with this bag and it packed and not expanded, so this is the medium with it unexpanded or fully packed, you can fit it in the seat in front of you. You can, it might be a tighter squeeze, but you probably can. Yeah. But with it expanded, you'd have with to be a large it, item. It will be your equivalent if you had a trolley bag. Yes, will be. You'll have to pay for it basically if you wanted to go in the overhead locker or... It's basically hand luggage. It's not the park item. If you use it for a full capacity, it'll become hand luggage. With this bag, you do have the option to um, add a hip strap, but again, do you find Bradley needs anything like that support? Because would he use it for... I have to say that whenever the only times kind of when we're when we're overpacking this thing to you know we recently took it back on a flight and it was filled out to the brim and he does he has to kind of make use of all the support mechanism yeah. so like the strap from here with probably in the storm strap yeah so something extra to be able to do that would be really good um you can add that on i think it's like a another extra 30 dollars though but yeah and i think that point being that if you were kind of using this on a shorter backpacking trip or something then you'd want that as well for the extra support yeah that just reminds me actually this bike comes with a sternum strap which is great and um, unlike the light pack it doesn't have that so in the medium it is 18 meters and in the large is 27 meters i feel like it is kind of a bit of a jump like in terms of yes it is only ten dollars but in terms of size you actually are going up quite a lot in liters like you get a lot more a lot more space yeah but then you definitely wouldn't not we have it as hand luggage where if you're planning on bringing hand luggage then it's a great hand luggage all right and yeah. go for the bigger one you know one of yeah so the dimensions of the medium are 28 times 44 times 19 centimeters and expanded it is 30 in depth and the item weight of this bike is 1.27 kg so then the, the, the weight's actually quite light because i'm thinking if you compare this to obviously you get 10 kilos usually in your hand look at me this is a bit of a weight not so sometimes when you're kind of like doing long haul fights they do weigh them but whenever you're using like actual roll on hand luggage sometimes things the starting weight quite high mm -hmm. so you can only fit in like yeah yeah, yeah. It, or if this is actually quite light so you're yeah. going to be able to get full use of this base of the 10k which is i think quite interesting compared to like a hard shell yeah roll on luggage so everything in comparison to the life pack uh, backpack is basically the same do you want to hand that over everything in terms of materials style shapes it holds its shape the exact same like yeah. they both set up well yeah. and have this yeah the same bottom material the only big difference is the solar i mean again I, yeah this bag is more like techy with yeah the features yeah whereas this is more i think it's so, more geared towards yes like longer firm travel because it is um adaptable i think they have they don't want to be overwhelming it with a load of features yeah especially like going through security and stuff like that where i swear stuff like that probably beeps on yeah it does um this pocket is um quite spacious it's actually quite a bit of space in there but um, it's quite subtle as well like you wouldn't be able to tell i'm pretty sure you would just think now if that's that hidden design so this is kind of more anti thefty looking in terms of you could hide this here as uh, zipper and then have things in there. Obviously the notable difference is the expansion. If you want to demonstrate guys and um, how it expands, it expands up to 40%. So it's quite easy. The zips I noticed with other brands <laughs> I was just going to say I noticed with other brands get mixed up with the zip, but Jimmy Humberton Sally here it is. I don't know what's going to say. It's really subtle. Like, that's you know why I just missed it. No, but that's how you know is because it's, I don't know, actually don't. I was about to say, some of them have a flap. Yeah. Of extra material, but. Where do you, I cannot tell you the one of times I've done that. Like, oh, right. I'm thinking I'm expanding. Oh, well, I'll go over it. But then maybe not again. It's not that deep, is it? 
40 minutes chance. It does. Uh... Do you know, but it is crazy, I think. So look at this. So we've zipped it the whole way around here. So, but look how much room. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can't ask mad. But that's great. It's so An alarm bell still go off my head going, you can't open that for a flight. Definitely not. No, you can't. This, no, oh, this would be. This is on stage. Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. But like, it's so fun because sometimes I'll be, for, I'll forget that it expands and I'm like trying to stuff things in and I'm like, Brad, I'm not going to fit. And then he's like, he expanded it and I'm like, oh yeah. And then he does it and then everything just drops and you can add it. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> so, a couple of other features and nitbits in here is we do have another elastic. Elastic. So, our bottle. Oh, they're really promoting mud. They can't do your life safe. Yeah. Um, this space in here is even, this is a non expanded. It's quite spacious and we do have some pockets in here. Not too many, which is nice. It's not overwhelming. You kind of have too many and big pockets here. Oh, I didn't notice that there. Yeah, there's also, I've just seen, yeah, there's some like pockets kind of on the on side the here. No, I like that. I feel like this would fit a phone maybe. Yeah. But um, again, I'll tell you what we kind of used this for was like documents or even put my board and pass in there. And something I want to say about the zip kind of quality on both these bags is that I don't know if you've ever overfilled a bag so much as you do when you're packing and then it rips. These ones can, uh, that has happened. Oh, yeah. But these ones you can really, do you want to name the run? <laughs> Not on the website. <laughs> these ones you can kind of like, they're high quality. You can fit in, squeeze in as much as you want. I've been pulling and just like trying yeah, to yeah. and it's, it's, move. it's not going to rip. It, it is really high quality. They can withstand pressure, which honestly is the difference between purchasing something that is high quality compared to like going really cheap. Yeah, because with Maintain, if you haven't seen that video, you can go check it out over my channel. But the the zips are absolutely fine. The bag's fine. It's thirty dollars. Does what it needs to do. Yada yada. But as I mentioned in it, the zips don't stay. They just they they're just kind of you you can tell the different feel of uh, a premium kind of bag in comparison to a uh, cheaper budget bag. So. That's great. That's actually a good point. Uh, what I love about this bike too, it does fit my 500 ml uh, water bottle from Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> it does fit um, a 500 ml in here. There is a extra space. There's two on, three on each side, one on each side. So you can fit your umbrella, things like that, a tripod, um, anything like that they do have expanded elastics so it kind of fits around the product or expands out as it uh, needs to be so this bag as well we did say that it caters to kind of work like two which means it has a laptop performance and i got that zip right so this uh fits up to 16 inch laptop mm -hmm. so again mine is 15 so mine would fit lovely or this is a bit slimmer so it might move on in there not much because with oh, sorry i just cut you off but with a other brands I noticed they have like a, a like a pullover. Yeah, like a scratch. This scratch, strap. This doesn't. Mm -hmm. So that's something to keep in mind. A laptop compartment is basically the same. So it's built exactly. out the same material, same. and we still have the the old pouch in front. And again, you do have more uh, pockets in here. Again, not too overwhelming. We have the pen. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the section for the pen. Mm -hmm. um, and then a couple more, which is great. You know, these are actually all useful pockets. You probably will get use out of these. Yeah, because they're not compared to some other ones. You will not use them ever. Just quickly, actually, I thought the materials on the back were the pattern were the exact same, but they do just... seem to have a slight difference. I mean, we'll do an overlay. Yeah, they're both soft, but the light pack backpack seems to have like larger holes, and I'm thinking it might be to make it more breathable. I really don't know the science behind that though, whereas this one literally the hole is smaller. So it's all I can, is maybe that reason. They both have the, the seatbelt kind of strap, except the one on the Endeavor is a bit more high quality than this one. This is literally a seatbelt yeah. material. Yeah, is, yeah, this has um, a bit more of uh, the nylon fabric and it's also just yeah, that makes germ or uh, sturdy as well. That makes sturdier. And you've got the logo on there, which is this is what it is. Oh, yeah. Um, again, with the bag, it has uh, hidden pockets, like anti theft pockets in the same kind of areas on the uh, straps as well. Handy enough. It's got an extra one of these, or just this one? No, they both have these, like, eye things as yeah. well. So, 
They're doing what you pays with those. I was gonna say, but the bottom buy. I think I remember, remember this bottom bit here. I think I remember what Brad used this for. Yeah, so we were kind of discussing what does this bottom pocket do? Yeah, I, I feel like, <gasps> see some bags I know. have had this and you're able to squeeze like, so in our tropical one, you can squeeze a pair of shoes in the bottom. I thought, well, maybe you could, but you can't there out. Oh no, I was thinking, why are these here? Like you obviously can attach something I and I I know what it is, but I can't think of it. If I think of it, I will put it here. If not, then my hand's just gonna be here. <laughs> so in terms of, um, as we mentioned, Bradley can he use it for five more. What would he use it for? I would say more honestly for for our transiting travels. So we would use this more on a plane. So we would that it's a good actual thing for luggage it's good right. for packing it's good for city breaks we did take it to barcelona and we we left the van so we used this to pack three night worth of clothes i think it was so yeah. basically a city break for both of us all our stuff fit in there yeah so we've used it for city break we've used it for shorter trips we have used it up to seven days on the trip to i can't remember the exact location which is bothering me but um we did manage to fit a lot in there and we always use it as a form of hand luggage because when we travel, we only actually have one small case with us. So this is our other case. This is when we use it. We use it fully expanded to bring stuff on planes whenever we need to have another piece of hand luggage. Just a quick note, this, um, this, oh, well, they're actually quite, they're still strong. This looks like it would be padded, but it is quite sturdy. The handles, it doesn't have one on the side, so it doesn't activate a uh, briefcase mode on this bike but this one does have a handle on the side so you can lift it up like so and the handles are very sturdy i would say we will yeah they're pretty strong they could take a lot of weight so i do really like this bike out of the two this would definitely be a bit of me and um, what i would say about it in comparison to other brands like peak design and that bike they have thought about the store of straps which i really enjoy in terms of like putting it in the seat in front of you or even in the overhead locker or just checking it in in general it's nice to know that you can put the straps away and uh, so nobody's either stepping on it or any damage is going to be done especially if your sternum strap isn't patchable then that's going to be flipping about like that so um that's just something to know um like i said we will actually put links in the description of all the products that we've reviewed and videos and things like that then you can go check out different brands seem to have a baby for different bags but definitely this one is great for travel it's an ex expandable adaptable kind of bag you can take it to work to the gym you can do pretty much everything to it whereas like Kaz said, this is more of a tech, maybe more of a steady bag. Yeah, maybe it is more urban. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, but yeah, it's important to know they are different, I guess, with different uses. So if you're looking for something more full travel packing wise, this one, if you're wanting something that you can get a bit done with, maybe stop a few things in, but you want to just live in, you know, city life, use it for urban life, go yeah. gym. Yeah, that one probably the better one. One brand that I would say do really good anti fat bags are Lock Tote. So if you go on yes. our anti fat, um, we do have that bag. Um, again, it's in a bag. It's in. <laughs> it's, it's somewhere. But there it is. Yeah, we have used it, and they they specifically fill these um these bags for anti fat purposes yeah. or city bricks, but they are not travel bags. So they're definitely very different from these, but they're good for city bricks. Like yeah. good for your day bag but yeah. so that in terms of like anti-theft then yeah but i think with a lot of these as long as you kind of take the extra precautions and put the locks on and make use of the hidden pockets and stuff then you're you're, you're, you're gonna be okay yeah so basically i think there i don't remember whenever we got this there being a bigger option but i feel like because you can get the difference yeah yeah that endeavor so i think the endeavor is meant to be a different high type bag there's, I think there is another version of this, the Life Pack Light. Yeah, that's pack. Yes, yeah. Yeah, light. light. Light, I think it's light. I don't, again, I, I think that that's fairly more recent. I'm gonna assume it's more lightweight. I'm not sure, cause I've not seen it. I feel like this is a good price point for this one because it, I think it's priced in it as hand luggage, which when you compare that to other actual. Yeah. So this is prices kind of hand luggage rather than like a traditional backpack. backpack. Yeah. Um, yeah, but for that reason, 
I, I do think it's pretty good value for money. So just to round up, um, like I have mentioned, I prefer the Endeavor and Kazi prefers the Life Pack backpack. Um, it's always just going to be down to what you prefer, what you need, what you want from a backpack. But I think the main thing to take from all of this is that SoGuard as a brand is a reliable uh, brand. Their materials are great. Their backpacks are durable, long lasting. I mean, over two years you've had these going around the world. So yeah. I think that says, I think it's a lot you need to know. They're definitely worth an investment of money because I think it is for the last. If you do prefer to read a written review, we have done a lovely detailed review comparing the Solgar bags. You can find that in the link in the description. Um, it will give you a lot more information and you can actually see some photos again of it in action. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next review.